Hi, I'm Vikram Kakumani, Senior Vice President at UiPath. UiPath Maestro helps you orchestrate any complex process that's core to your business in one simple, powerful view. It provides you a brand new canvas that allows you to model and visualize all the participants involved in your process end to end. It's usually comprised of all the disparate automations involved, various agents involved, APIs involved, and even all the human tasks that might be there. It also allows you to adopt agents seamlessly into your processes, whether agents built on UiPath platform or agents built on third-party platforms such as LangGraph, Microsoft, Crew AI, or even Agent Force. If you have a preferred agentic platform, you can bring that into Maestro. It's the one platform you need to orchestrate your multi-agentic tech stack. It's a new layer that is built using a server-side execution engine and event processing architecture that gives you unprecedented control over granular operations on your pro live processes. Things like pause, resume, rewind, even upgrade of a process across its versions it's now powered by Maestro. These are super important for any long running processes in your business. We have also baked in deep analytics to help you monitor your processes in aggregate. In addition to dashboards, you have heat maps that show you how your process evolved over different versions and various filters. We haven't stopped there. We've also baked in our industry leading process mining technology to power optimizations of your process. Every single execution of your process is automatically analyzed and helpful suggestions are you know put in front of you to optimize your process further what if i told you you're going to leave here today with some superpowers it might not help you fly but maestro gives you superpowers at work to orchestrate every process code to your business in one simple but powerful view in this example imagine you're working at a bank Loan process is core to your business. The process description is quite complex. There's an entire sub process here that deals with document collection, document validation against local specific uh, requirements. Certain state requires different documents for the person residing in that state or the property that the state is located and so on and so forth. This sub process is about background check verification of the applicant, risk calculation, financial analysis, all of that. This sub process is about the actual loan eligibility analysis according to my bank process, so on and so forth. So forth. Usually these are implemented in disparate automations in a siloed manner. There is no common big picture view of a specific instance of a loan being processed across all of these systems. With Maestro, now you can see the full picture across all systems live and in real time. That's your first superpower. Let's, let's drill in. Let's go into individual tasks. If you look at the execution history we have below, starting from the process instance and the global variables and every step below it and its input and output variables, it's all in one place. Even the agents that we invoke in external systems, we pull, pull in the execution trace of that, not just the inputs and outputs, but also the actual execution trace from that subsystem. This is an example of a Langchain agent. It's a popular open source framework for building AI agents. We have our own instance of Langchain running here. You can look at the execution trace of this agent that just ran a few seconds ago. This entire trace as is, is pulled in live and displayed in line in Maestro. So Maestro does that not just for Langchain agents, but also for UiPath agents. This makes Maestro, the best multi-agent orchestration framework, not just for tracing and investigating, but also to do control agency. More about that later. So what else can I do here? In a long running process, often I, I need to do some actions. 
the most common actions would be pausing an instance or resuming an instance. Maestro supports process operations that were never possible before, even upgrade of instances. In this particular case, let's look at how it makes it seamless to go into this user task, find what that user task is right from Maestro. I'm gonna act as an underwriter in this case. I'm gonna assign this task to myself. I'm gonna call attention to the amount of data that's being rendered here. This data is coming from all the sub-processes that ran before it, from the documents collected, from the background data, and verifications that was done on the applicant, and the output of the loan analysis agent itself. All of it is rendered in one place. The information, the documents themselves, and the evaluation by the loan analysis agent. The agent has already determined that this particular application meets the requirements of my bank. I can look at how the agent made the decision by clicking on each of the documents and the associated data that it sourced. I can approve this particular task in line here. I'm at least order of magnitude more productive in this way. I'm ready to move on to my next task. As you can see in real time, the state updated and the task proceeded to the next stage. I can always come back into this task and investigate where the task is, what is happening. Now, this is the happy part. Everything worked well. In reality, we are also responsible to investigate when things go wrong. That's where the true power is in the investigation. We take incidents very seriously. It is at the center of the Maestro design. You can go into the specific process that we were investigating. Let's filter it down just to the faulted instances. I have a bunch here. Let's go into one of them. Look at where the fault is, what the fault is. Let's look at why the arguments are wrong. In this particular case, there's a missing property value here. I can get this out of band from the customer or by talking to the systems where it failed. Update it in line. Apply the change. And continue exactly from where the process faulted. No work is lost. And you'll be able to see that right from the beginning to the line chain agent. Then this was where the fault happened and it was retried and it succeeded now. Let's go to a slightly more complicated failure. Let's look at faults across all versions. I think this version fault is the same one that we already saw. Let's pick this one. In this particular instance, the entire process, a very complicated process has proceeded almost towards the end and it failed towards the end. This error happened because as this process was running, there was an upgrade in the Salesforce connector implementation. This was in 2.0.7. So we implemented a new version of the process, published it, and it's ready to be migrated to the new version, right in place. This is super critical capability for any sort of long running business process. After the upgrade, you could see it's now in 2.0.8. The status is still in the same place. None of the work that got done so far was lost. We retry the instance. It's as simple as pause and resume. It started from exactly where it faulted and it's able to continue from there. Maestro makes it effortless to manage the life cycle of your processes, supporting advanced capabilities such as business process versioning and migrations. Like I said, for long running processes, this capability is essential. Let's zoom out of single instance management. Let's go into multiple instances. We have the monitoring tab here. 
with out of the box dashboards that give you many insights. Things like where your bottlenecks are, what are your least resilient points, where is the most number of errors that are happening across all the versions here. You can even filter it by uh, which version that you want to see. Not just that, if you compare to the average, what are the specific ones that are that have biggest outliers? This usually help you find the faults that rarely happen, but when they happen, they have a big impact. We also have built-in views of heat map from version to version. You can look at how this process has evolved. The process graph, the heat map, as well as the paths that the instances are taking. Going from 1.3.0 to 2.x to 2.0.8. you are able to look at it. The number of instances that were analyzed at each node are included right here. Some of them probably faulted. Some of them probably took a different branch. You could actually filter by the elements. You could say, I just want to know how many of this went through this node. Select, apply. Now, it is filtered down to this node. I can still investigate. UiPath is also the market leader in process mining. So we got the full power of process mining into Optimize and integrated that right into Maestro. You can look at an existing Maestro process that was already analyzed by a process mining run. This is enabled by default for every single Maestro process. All the runtime data is automatically ingested into a process mining technology to power you with insights such as how to optimize this process, how to improve this process, where the bottlenecks could be. You could do variant analysis. You could do simulations. More on this on a separate track. Now switching gears, let's look at where all of this sausage is cooked. This is our familiar UiPath Studio, the low code environment that makes building anything easy. Start from scratch here, create a new agentic process, and start drawing. You could just start by modeling your end-to-end -end business process before you even know, you know how you are going to implement it. For example, you could decide that, oh, I'm going to use an agent here. You could decide, I'm going to use a task here, uh, RPA workflow here. It's as simple as you could decide, I want to control when errors happen out of this agent to be escalated to a human evaluation here. You could connect this. This process is ready to run. You could, once you have modeled it, you could also implement it with the agents that are already available. It could be within your system or it could be outside of your system. We had the loan analysis agent that I connected. All the inputs and outputs are automatically filled. We had a action center task that we've used earlier. You could use that. It's as simple as that. I'll actually show you the real process that we built. This was the process that was running. We saw when it was deployed and in instance management and monitoring. But even in development, you could see that this is implemented using various automations, action center tasks, agents, sorry, agents. This was the UiPath agent that we used earlier. I could click debug and get the full power of the execution trace, including step through, pause, step in and step out across the main process and sub-processes are right in place. So real-time visibility for complex business processes, intelligent resolution, deep monitoring, improving your business KPIs, all of this is what Maestro allows you to do. Today, we are excited to announce the general availability of Maestro to you. Developers, go build.